Welcome to this Ctrl-M support video solution. This video will show how to configure Ctrl-M server to use only a secure protocol in SSL communications, together with specific ciphers to adhere to site security standards. Ctrl-M server opens network ports to communicate with other components and the communication protocol can be configured to be encrypted using SSL. But even if the communication is not set to be encrypted, Ctrl-M is able to accept and reply to SSL requests coming into the opened ports. It can happen that during a penetration test performed at the site, Ctrl-M administrators are notified by the security team that the product is still using unsecured protocols like SSL v3 or TLS 1.1 in the SSL communications, even if SSL has not been activated. To fix this situation and to remove Ctrl-M ports from the penetration test warning report, it is possible to configure Ctrl-M to only accept a secure protocol like TLS 1.2 and secure ciphers based on SHA-256 algorithm. This doesn't imply the SSL activation on the communications that, of course, can be done later if really needed. The required Ctrl-M configuration procedure is slightly different between Unix Linux and Windows platforms. Now we simulate the penetration test trying to communicate with port 7005 using an unsecure SSL protocol. To do that, we use the OpenSSL S client function connecting to port 7005 and using the unsecure protocol SSL v3, asking to simply show the certificates returned. In the output, we see that SSL communication has been established using the unsecure protocol SSL v3 and the cipher using AES128 algorithm. We can exit from this test by pressing Ctrl C. To configure Ctrl-M to not accept connections with unsecure protocols, we have to edit a configuration file. Navigate to the directory ctm underscore server slash data slash ssl slash cert. Take a backup copy of the file site.plc and edit that file. The file contains two configuration sections, one to configure incoming connections, server, and one to configure outgoing connections, client. In both sections, we have to change the parameter provider options to list only the protocols that will be allowed. Doing this way, we are allowing the server to accept only connections that are using the SSL protocol TLS 1 underscore 2. If you have the requirement to force specific ciphers, you can add the list by completing the line with the following text. Repeat the same configuration for the client section. Save the file and exit. In Windows, the same changes must be done in the registry. Open the registry editor and navigate to the key Local Machine, Software, BMC Software, Control M Server, Security Policy, Site. Take a backup copy of the site keyword by exporting it to a file and then inside the site keyword you can see the client and server sections as we saw in the site.plc file on Linux and in those two sections you have the provider options parameter and you can edit the provider option parameter setting it to the same value that we used in the Linux system. Here we are allowing the system to accept only a protocol TLS 1 underscore 2 and with a single cipher 
with the AES256 algorithm. We also need to change the java.security configuration file. This procedure is the same for Linux and Windows platforms. Navigate to the directory ctm underscore server slash jre slash lib slash security. Take a backup copy of the file java.security. And then edit the file. At the end of the file, add a line containing the following parameter jdk.tls.disabled algorithms that lists the algorithms that will be disabled in this installation. Save the file and exit. To activate the new configuration, we need to recycle the Ctrl M server and Ctrl M configuration agent. When we try again to connect to port 7005 using an unsecure SSL protocol, we can see that the connection cannot be established because the CTM server doesn't allow the use of SSL v3. Control M ports will not be part of the next penetration test warning list. Control M products come with self-signed certificates installed. If you receive complaints by your security team about the use of self-signed certificates, then it is possible to create new certificates that will meet site standards using the Build Your Own Certificate Supplied Procedure (BYOC). For more information, please search into the knowledge base or in the SSL guide. That concludes this Control M Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.